Okay guys, so today, if you remember, we had those shafts, that shaft leak in on the starboard engine. So today I'm gonna run down into the engine compartment because A, I'm gonna leave uh, Beverly for a couple of days and uh, go make the delivery of that uh, condo, <laughs> that $1.1 million condo, we're gonna take it across the Gulf. Um, and I think we're gonna do that Friday, but before I leave, I wanna make sure that the boat's in tip-top shape. I wanna check this leak, I haven't had time yet, but now it's time, she's not on the boat. It's just easier to, to deal with this type of stuff when she's not on the boat. So let's go down below here. Let's go check it out and see what's, uh, see what's brewing down there. See if, see if we see anything. So you can see here, I have to remove this cap right here. This cap. And then, oh yeah. See, you can see the water dripping. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's literally water dripping right there. Again, I don't know if you can see it. You'll see it as soon as I pull this cap off. So we'll have to get up here and uh, tighten up that packing and see if that does it. If it doesn't do it, and I had to change this packing here in the slip, that gets a little trickier. I've done it before, um, but it's definitely a little bit trickier. You see that shack, see it leaking that water right there? And that shouldn't be leaking like that. When I'm stopped like this and the shaft is not moving, there shouldn't be leaking any water. Uh, when it is moving, it should be leaking, but it's just like literally a, a drop every every minute type thing. So what we have to do, so inside here, there's a packing. And and it's, it just looks like almost like a piece of rope. Um, and that, that piece of packing rope goes around the shaft right here. And there's typically about three of them. And then this thing right here, and you can see the bolts right here, one over here and one over here. Uh, you tighten those up and you squeeze this packing together right here and that'll stop the leaking. So that's what we're gonna do today and you don't want to completely tighten that too tight though too because it is supposed to leak but only when the engine's running and the shafts are going and the leak is only supposed to be a very minor like maybe a drop every minute type thing so let's get the tools here and we'll get that tight that shaft tightened up all right guys so you can see right here i've had to pull i pulled i pulled the whole uh shaft out of here and i'll clean it all up um and this is the part that goes in there and it pushes the packing together and then that's what stops the leaking but I can't tighten it up anymore because it had this bolt on the inside here so we're gonna have to remove this bolt and there's a couple options I can do here I can either reverse this or I'll try and get this off of here anyway I'll try to do uh, the best I can um, and this packing was just replaced not too long ago and I'm actually feeling with my finger and it all feels good I, I checked it with a flashlight and it looks good um, so I'm just going to keep the same packing in there, but I got to be able to pack it and I can't do that right now with this bolt on the inside right here. I'm at the end of what, what, how, how far I can tighten the bolt and tighten the packing up. So anyway, that's what I'm You saw that, it was just one little drip right there. But we shouldn't have any drips when the shafts stop right there. Right now I should be able to fire up the boat, turn the boat on, turn the shaft. Now, this is all I've ever owned. I've never owned a boat with uh, dripless shafts in it. I've always had these drip type shafts. And I've really had not had any problems with them. Another thing I'm going to do while I'm down here is go ahead and clean my AC strainer. So see the strainer right here for the AC? We'll go ahead and uh, pull the strainer out of there and clean that real quick while we, because I haven't done it yet on this boat. So I'll go shut all the air conditioners off and then uh, let's clean out this uh, strainer for the AC jump out of the engine room here shut the air conditioners off and then I'll we'll go turn the valve off and then um, uh, pull the strainer out and see what see what kind of trouble we're in 
All right, let's go back down here and uh, see what we can do with this AC strainer. Okay, first thing I want to do is shut my valve off, which is right here. I'm going to just shut that off. We'll do this all while we're watching the shaft there. I don't see any leaks out of the shaft there down there anymore. You, you, there was, it was just a continuous stream of, of water coming out of there. And now, not even a drop. That's what we want to see. Seems like these should be wing nuts instead of bolts, but they're bolts. And they weren't very tight. They shouldn't be. It's going to leak a little bit of water, but I have all the water shut off coming back here, so it shouldn't leak. Ah. We'll just take that out and clean that with a go take that out to the hose and clean it. Oh, okay, you can, so you can see right here, clean our strainer out right here. And I got all the mud out of here. This thing was just caked with mud, and so it's all cleaned up now. Ready to go. See, I got my basket, we'll put it back in, it all in nice and tight. Put a little gasket on there. I probably should be looking for a new one of those gaskets. This one looks a little old. Okay. Back on. I don't see any leaks. Everything looks good. I don't see any leaks. I'm sure, everything is clear of the shaft right here because we are going to start the shaft up. Make sure we don't have any leaks there. Okay. All right, the AC. Let's go fire the AC back up. Um, and then we'll start the engine and see if we have any uh, leaks down there. All right, I got the engine started. Let's put it in gear and see what it does. One thing I will have to do is keep a close eye on that for the next travel just for an hour or so. Make sure I'm not getting any heat there or anything. But we're going to go reverse. We'll go forward here. And I'm looking down there and I don't see any water, but I don't want it to build any heat. Yeah, I see a little bit of water dripping. It looks like I can tighten it up just a hair more. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up just a hair more. All right, so I'm going to give each one of them about another little bit of about a quarter of a turn. That's about it. Not much. Like I said, you don't want to tighten these over, over tighten these. That's it. Okay, that's about it. Now I'll put my back nut on there. Good. I'll have to check this again, but right now it's not leaking. It was leaking when it was running. That's what it's supposed to do. So I think I'm in pretty good shape. Clean my uh, C strainer for my air conditioner. 
this back together. I think I'm going to go ahead and check all my fluids since I haven't done that since I did my last service. And this should be good. The only thing, like I said, I'll have to run back here and all I do is put my hand right up on here just to make sure that that's not getting hot or anything like that. Because if it is, that means that packing's a little bit too tight. But when you see water just dripping barely like a drop dripping through there, you're fine. It's not gonna, it's not gonna overheat. All right, tighten that up, and that'll be it. It's my outside bolt. I needed to do this since the very beginning. Since we picked this boat up, this needed to be done. And that was kind of a pain in the ass job. You didn't see everything that was involved in it, but there was actually a, quite a bit involved in it, just getting that nut off the back side there so that we could tighten the packing down. That was the, that was the issue. Okay, make sure those are nice and tight. Okay, that should be it. Our packing should be good. We're not leaking any water in the boat no more. So I not, should not hear that bilge pump come on. My boat does not leak any water, so. And I don't want it to leak any water. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this video. I've checked all of my uh, fluids, all my transmission fluid, my uh, oil. Uh, we've cleaned the air conditioner strainer out, and we fixed the packing on uh, the starboard engine that's been it's been probably plaguing us for a while now because once I tightened it up uh, last time uh, it never got properly tightened because there was that bolt was in my way so we, we had to get out there remove the bolt once we got that bolt off there then I was able to tighten the packing up correctly and now it's not leaking so that's a good sign and then you know so just a lot of little maintenance inside here uh, the boat is now ready to go again Anyway, if you guys got any questions, please just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Thanks. Have a nice day. Enjoy yourself and uh, we will see you. Uh, I got some cool videos coming out. One is, uh, uh, and I'll link that video right here because we just, we just literally moved a 44, or 42 foot Bertram for Matt. And it was, uh, we had Captain Larry at the helm there from uh, Saunders Yacht. And uh, he did that all with no steering in the boat. So that was pretty cool actually. Anyway. Peace out. Remember, live life with no regret. I do. Thanks. Bye.